everyone, this is Elena and welcome back po to this channel and today we are going to talk about iron supplements. So as I have promised to my Facebook friends who voted for this topic last last week, so di ba pinagpili ko po kayo vitamin C or iron supplements or pyrosulfate. So yeah, so since nanalo ang vitamin C, yun po ang inuna natin. And today, um, Sana po hayaan niyo po akong bumawi. Alright? So, to officially start the video, I just want to provide a disclaimer, guys. This video is not a medical advice. And if you are seeking for a medical advice, please consult your doctor. Alright? So, let's begin. So, today we are going to talk about iron supplements. Now, what are the things that you need to know about iron supplements or iron salts? Now, doctors prescribe iron preparations to you because you are either prone to becoming anemic or you don't have enough levels of iron in your body, which results from, number one, you have had acute or chronic blood loss. So, kadalasan yung mga pasyente na nanganganak, so, di ba, yung mga bagong panganak, sila kadalasan is nauubusan sila or na, na madaming dugo or volume of blood yung nawawala sa kanila. And also for accident patients, so, di ba? And then number two is from insufficient intake during periods of accelerated growth in children. Okay? So, most of the time kasi, especially if the children is a picky eater, Alright, he or she is basically not absorbing the minimum required amount of iron in his or her body. So, kulang yung iron uh, levels ng kanyang katawan kasi hindi siya masyadong nakakakain ng mga foods that are rich in iron. Alright. Okay, and then third is, um, it is usually prescribed to patients who are having heavy menstruation. So, kadalasan, syempre sa women, ito nangyari kasi nga, diba, babae lang naman ang nagkakaroon. So, kapag malakas yung flow ng dugo during periods. And number four is, it is also recommended to pregnant women where their hemoglobin levels is required to be sufficient to help provide a faster development to the growing baby na nasa loob ng chan ng mama. Alright? So, kailangan kasi enough ang blood supply sa loob ng katawan ng mami para mas mag-grow yung organs ng baby niya. Alright? So, um, what are the natural sources of iron? Sa okay, so we can get it from red meats like beef or organ meats like liver, um, green leafy vegetables like spinach, kale. You can also get it from um, broccoli, from fish, from pork, chicken, legumes, and Roots. All right. So since we don't get all of this in our daily routine, kasi na, di ba? Hindi naman lahat ng to na nakakain natin araw-araw. It would be more convenient if we just take the iron supplements. All right. So iron supplements are available in the pharmacy in a form of first tablets. So kadalasan ang dose is nagre-range from 119 milligrams to 375 milligrams. And it can also be available in a form of capsule. And these are usually combinations of vitamin B complex together with folic acid and yung ferrosulfate na tinatawag natin. And it can also be available as a liquid dosage form like syrup. So we have um, a pure iron syrup and minsan sinasama din natin siya together with multivitamins. So yeah, there is a combination of multivitamins plus iron. Alright? Now, for the frequency of taking our iron supplements, again, it depends in your case. And for that, um, I am leaving it to the prescription. So, you just have to follow the prescribing instructions. But for adult doses, usually, alright, so they are advised to take it once a day or twice a day, depending, depending on the case of the patient or depende sa, sa, sa case mo or sa kaso mo kung gaano kataas yung dose na kailangan mo ma-absorb sa katawan mo. Alright? So now, how do we appropriately take our iron supplement? So first is that it is best taken on an empty stomach. Yes, again, on an empty stomach and uh, if you develop um, or experience abdominal pain, you can just take it two hours after meal. Right? And then next is, uh, liquid iron preparations can discolor the teeth of the patient. So to prevent this from happening, you can just 
brush your teeth every after the dose or you can dilute the liquid iron supplement in water and you have to take it with the use of the straw all right so just a clarification guys hindi po nakaka discolor ng teeth ang iron preparation kapag na naka solid dosage form siya. Say for example, naka tablet or capsule, hindi po yun nakaka-discolor ng teeth. Ang nakaka-discolor lang po ng teeth is yung um, concentrated liquid preparations na tinatawag natin. Alright? Now, what are the dispensing consideration or, or in other term, parang this serves as a reminder to the patient. So, we as a pharmacist, we these are the reminders that we need to provide to our patient. So, first is, iron absorption can be reduced if it is taken within 2 hours of some medications or some medicines. Say, for example, yung mga fluoroquinolones na tinatawag natin or yung, di ba, kasama dun si ciprofloxacin, um, antacids, and also tetracyclines. Next is, iron supplementation should be generally continued for 3 to 6 months in adults and 2 to 3 months for children. So, um, you have to continue it or you have to follow this parang duration until the hemoglobin levels normalizes. But again, uh, this duration, the duration of taking it depends, okay, to your case. Alright? So, for that duration, you have to ask your doctor for that. But generally, kadalasan ganun yung duration ng pagtitake ng mga iron supplements natin. And then next is absorption of iron salts is reduced by co-administration of foods and tannin derivatives like tea or yung chaa or kape or coffee. Again, for this case, you have to space out 2 hours. So, for example, tinake mo yung iron supplement mo ng alas 8, dapat alas 10 ka pa pwedeng magkape or magchaa. Or for example, tinitake mo yung iron supplements mo ng alas 12 ng, ng tanghali, bawal ka pang mag uh, milk tea hanggang o oh, milk tea, ba? Or chaa or coffee hanggang alas dos ng hapon. Alright? Now, last is what are the known or most common side effect of iron supplements? So, kadalasan is black discoloration of the teeth. Now, this kind of uh, side effect only happens for liquid dosage forms or liquid preparations. And the next is black discoloration of the urine and the feces. So, uh, nagiging black po yung pupu natin or yung ihi natin if we are under iron supplements. So, di ba, pag for example, nag-take ka ng, ng iron supplement mo tapos tumai ka, tas black, wag po tayong matatakot. That, that, that is just normal. So, normal lang po yun. Alright, so I think that would be the things that I, I want to share with you guys about iron supplements. And again, that would be all. And yeah, I personally appreciate those people who are still very supportive to this channel and to all of my vlogs. I really, really, I appreciate, appreciate you all. Thank you so much, guys. That would be all.